Hey everybody, it's Twisty Cat. I don't know about you, I'm on day 20 of this lovely quarantine and I'm bored. I'm incredibly bored. Uh, so I thought I would post a few videos for us. Um, how to keep yourself occupied, maybe uh, do a little bit of art, do maybe sell something, you never know. Uh, so today I was putting up my uh, spring decorations and I've got this really, really long uh, sidewalk path. You can see it goes all the way up to the house and beyond. So I've got a whole bunch of sidewalk uh, chalk and I'm going to do a couple of, of uh, paintings right here, well, drawings really with the chalk and we're going to uh, to get our little bunny path going on before Easter so you can come and join me it's a good start so one of the things that you have to really pay attention when <laughs> when you go to start doing this is hey if you have neighboring fire ants don't piss them off they are not going to like that so Next, we are working on our flower. So I'm, I'm using combination here. I actually have some, these were really great Crayola uh, chalk. I got them from, I say Ollie's, really cheap. Uh, leftovers from, I think, like Finding Dory or something like that. But they have these great colors. You can even make your own chalk if you want to. You make um, liquid chalk if you want to, puff paint. All of them are removable on sidewalks. But these are given a really beautiful color. So I'm gonna fill in my purple here. So I'm using purple and pink together. To give us this nice color. And I'm trying to use these really long strokes. So we get this great bending flower. I think we're going for a Gerber daisy here. Look. You just want to keep the, just like painting, you want to keep the motion going in the same direction because you're going to get a lot of motion out of that and a lot of detail. And then as you come up here, you can see that now I've changed direction with my, my flower petal. And that's because it's going to be a top petal and it's now flowing in a different direction. So it's not going to flow the same way it had been before. The same with my petals behind. They're going to kind of create a hollow space behind it. Give it a little bit of three dimension going on here. There we go. And just like with painting, you need to have a little shadow. So I got a little bit of this. It's actually black chalk, believe it or not. And it's going to give us a little bit of a shadow going on under our flower and between our petals. Now what's really great is that our sidewalk is not white, so it's going to give us that, but this can give us some detail as well. Really make those flowers pop out there. Tackle our top one over here. Tell it which direction it's going in. Alrighty, not bad. All right, so this is a Gerber daisy in full bloom. So that's the, the ball at the top here. It's not gonna be nice and flat because it's wilting, it's dying off. So these are, this will show our, what do you call that? The stamen in the middle, I guess. You don't wanna get that nice and richly dark. And then I've got my yellow. Put some stamen on here. This, that, that's like the pollen. It's on the inside. And so I'm doing a line and a dot. Multiple uh, different sizes. None of them are really in a row. You can just put a few dots in there too if you want to. That's all the pollen for the bees to come and capture. I can even throw in some orange, which I think I'm gonna do. All right, that's a pretty good looking flower. I'm liking this. All right, so we're, we're gonna have, go ahead and add our bee now. All right, there we go. We now we got our nice bumblebee up in here. We gotta put his wing on. And we got an eyeball. 
think maybe he needs a little bit more of a tummy. He's kind of uh, not quite as chubby as I want him to be. So let's go right in here. We're going to give him a bit of a tummy. There we go. Now he's a nice, chubby, fluffy bumblebee. These chalks are great because they give you that nice, uh, sketchy outline. You don't actually have to be precise and perfect, which is so kind of cool. I think I'm going to give him a little bit of a halo going on here. We're going to get some bubbles. Because, so, you know, it's spring. There's pollen in there. And why not? Again, don't anger your ant neighbors. They don't like that. Alrighty. Alright, so. Like I said, I got a long chalk walk to go here. But I think this is a really good start to our... Uh, our spring Easter Bunny Trail. When you're working with flowers, the biggest uh, thing is making sure that they look like they're three-dimensional. So always make sure that you keep your your petals nice and round. There we go. All right, guys, come back and see me again.